Hi, I'm Sabrina Casas, and I'm a community partner specialist with the Girl Scouts of Southwest Texas. Welcome to our troop meeting today, and we are going to be doing some fun activities with the HEV BPI curriculum for the Brownies. Um, any, any age group can do it, um, but uh, this is from the Brownie booklet, so if you want to check out the link below or follow along with us on the specific page, go right ahead. What we're going to do now, we're going to start off with our Pledge of Allegiance, and then we will do our Girl Scout Promise, and then go on to our activity, okay? So if everybody can stand up, please, and we'll do our pledge first. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, now the Girl Scout Promise. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. Okay, so today's activity, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing, of course, like I said, out of the brownie booklet, but we're going to be doing an activity called Mirror Mirror. Now, this activity is going to be short, simple. However, it's going to be more of a talking um, one-on-one or in a group setting with your girls. Um, they're going to be learning more about m mental health and why it's important to love yourself and to respect yourself too. So um, as we continue, we're going to be learning, like I said, about mental health. Um, this is my little brain. I hope y'all like it. I worked really hard on it. Um, it is a brain. And why is mental health so important? So mental health, for all of us, it is the overall wellness of how you think, regulate your feelings, and behave. So. Uh, although physical health is very, very important, mental health is very important too. They kind of go hand in hand with each other. Um, for instance, when you exercise, it brings not only physical health, but mental health. It clears your mind up so you can think of um, many creative things, think of what you need to get done, and get done or um, anything you can think of, that's what uh, mental health is. So when you are sad, happy, um, uh, angry, that's mental health. That's where our brain is, is pumping with all these feelings and emotions. And it's important, it, it, it's important because at sometimes it can get confusing, but it takes, uh, ourselves to understand who we are and how we operate, um, where mental health can really, really, um, overcome us sometimes. But when we learn how to, like I said, operate our mind and do some certain exercises, um, you'll find out that when we do that, mental health, health is a little bit more easier to grasp and a little bit more easier to, to control. Um, it's just very, very, very important, okay? But what is wellness, right? The quality of state of being in good health, especially um, as an act actively sought goal. So wellness is your state of being, okay? Your state of being. And um, it is important for us to work towards that. Um, like for right now, I, I just, throughout the week I've been exercising, making sure that I am um, make, putting in my 30 minutes of exercise and making sure I go throughout my day in a wellness um, attitude and a positive attitude, okay? So what we're going to make today, like it says, mirror, mirror, we are going to make our own mirror. So as we continue on, um, I will uh, tell you what materials you need. These materials are something you can find around in your house. Um, if you don't have specific materials in your house for this, uh, be creative. You can find whatever is a substitute for that. Feel free to substitute one thing for another, okay? So today what we're going to be do using is a glue gun or any type of other glue. I, I preferably like to use a glue gun just because it helps everything stay together. Um, but it is hot, so make sure you have an adult um, do this for you uh, if you're not old enough to do so. Because you can get burned. You can burn yourself. So it's very important that we're very, very careful with this, okay? Um, we have scissors, a sheet of foil, aluminum foil, a paper plate. Now, it doesn't have to be this specific plate. It could be any type of plate that you would like, okay? 
and some markers, okay? These are optional. These are, uh, these are just optional if you would like to decorate your mirror in the end, okay? All right, everybody, so let's get started. Um, please pause the video if you need to go get those materials. Um, pause the video whenever you would like. Up with us, up in pace, um, so you won't fall behind. So, we are going to take our aluminum foil and our paper plate, and we are going to cut a circle to the to the same sh to, uh, cut a circle um, out of our aluminum foil so that it can fit in our paper plate. Okay. Now, it's important that we understand that the foil stays flat and don't crinkle it up because if you're if you crinkle it up, it's not going to work. Okay. So, like, if you are unsure how to trace it out, like what I I did, I just used my finger and I went around very lightly just to measure out the edges of the circle that I have to cut out, okay? So once you do that, I need you to take your scissors and cut the circle, okay? Make sure, be very careful with the scissors too as well if you need an adult. Also with the aluminum foil because the aluminum foil, once you cut it, is very sharp. So if you don't, if you, you can cut yourself along with the scissors. So be very careful. We do not want anybody to get cut or hurt, all right? Make sure the aluminum foil stays flat. We do not want to crinkle it up because it will defeat the purpose, okay? All right, so. We're almost done cutting this. Okay, and with your excess aluminum foil, you can either keep it with you um, if you have a lot of leftover or you can just fold it up for next time, use it, recycle, use it for something that you need to, just put it to the side, okay? And as you can see, I cut my circle already, all right? So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take the glue that I have, so I'm gonna use my glue gun. If you have a uh, glue stick or just regular glue, that is totally fine. Um, so as you cut your, your aluminum circle out, take your glue and glue it. And then once you glue it, stick it on to your plate. Okay, it's gonna look like this, all right, when it's done. And your circle doesn't have to be that perfect, as you can tell, mine's not. Um, just as long as you cover mo the majority of the plate, okay? Once you're done with this, take your markers. This is totally optional if you do not have any markers or, you know, not even markers. You can use puppy paints, paint, crayons, totally up to you. Have the girls be creative. You can be creative um, and unleash your inner, inner innovator and decorate your mirror. So I'm gonna go ahead and decorate mine. So I don't know if you can tell, but I love the color purple. So I'm going to color mine purple or decorate it purple -esque. Now, depending on your plate, the marker may or may not stay on, but it's totally fine. It's just, um, you know, it's just for them to be creative or for you to be creative. So, um, just continue on, let them decorate it however they would like. And have them uh, talk about why they're doing the design they're doing. Um, why they're using the certain colors they're using. Maybe they like purple. Maybe, you know, yellow mean represents sun for them. So, you know, they, they use the, the color uh, yellow for, for their um, for their plate. Um, maybe they like hearts, so they're gonna draw hearts. Maybe their birthday's on Valentine's Day. Who knows? Um, just interact with them. And I, wa I, wanted, I, I would love to see how your, your mirrors come out. So just make them as pretty as possible. Now you can use any uh, glitter, uh, uh, beads, um, uh, those uh, jewels that you can buy at any store. Um, and again, if you don't have it, don't worry. Um, you don't have to buy those. It's just for decorating purposes or whatever you have around the house. 
So, I'm pretty much done with my mirror, okay? So my mirror looks like this. It's cute, I like it. Okay, so, I wanna see your mirror, so you can show it up. Um, uh, if you could take a picture of it, put it down on the comments, I would love to see your mirror. So, um, yeah. So now what we're gonna do, now that you've finished your mirror, we are going to ask ourselves this question, okay? And I don't know if y'all know, but in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the, the queen um, goes and looks at her mirror and says, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Well, you know what? We're gonna do our own little twist to it today. So we're gonna do, we're gonna take our mirror, okay? We're gonna look at our mirror. And even though we sometimes we don't see our reflection in the mirror, just imagine, right? Have them look at the mirror. And I want them to say, or want you to say, Mirror, mirror, in my hand, I want to be the healthiest that I can. One way I am healthy is how I make sure that I'm always reminding myself that I am loved and that I am strong. And that's one way that they can uh, think of one healthy way they do that. So remember, the, say, the saying is, it's mirror, mirror, in my hand, I want to be the healthiest that I can. One way I am healthy is, and then they finish the sentence, okay? Um, have them smile, because this is a mirror, so have them like smile, do whatever facials, uh, face, um, faces they want just to look at their mirror and this and then you can put the mirror up on their wall just to remind them that they are loved and they are healthy and to always stay mentally healthy okay and so um, as we continue on with this um, just remember if you have more than a couple of girls in your troop just put your you know names in the back and then you can keep the mirror and this is your mirror that you can remind yourself and look yourself in the mirror every day you can put it in front of your your bed um you can put it on your wall and just look at it and say look and say those words and just remind yourself that you are enough and that you are beautiful and that you are strong and that you are loved and that you can do anything you set your set your mind to mental health mental health and wellness is very very key um, when being a leader, when being a Girl Scout, and when being a, an amazing citizen of, of the country. So, um, and especially in this time that we are in quarantine and going and everything going on in the world today, it's important to stay mentally healthy and um, spread that mental health and spread that love amongst all your family, friends, and community, okay? So I'm, I, I hope you found this activity so fun and engaging. What did you like? What did you not like about this activity? What did you learn about mental health? What are some ways you can be mentally healthy? Um, I wanna know that. So on the comments or in the comments, I want you to take a picture of your mirror and I want you to answer these questions that I've said, you know, what makes, what, what do you do to stay mentally healthy? Why is it important to stay mentally healthy? What do you love about yourself? What are your plans for the future? Okay, so any of those questions, answer down below. Take a picture with your mirror, I would love to see them. Let us know in the comments if you like this video, what, we, what you didn't like again. Also, um, uh, just remember to share this video with your friends, your family, if you think somebody sh uh, somebody would benefit from this video, share it um, and uh, spread the word. Um, so take this and put it up um, after your meeting. Of course, end with the Make New Friends song. And in closing, I just want to thank y'all for being here today. And um, remember that in order to complete a BPI curriculum to earn this patch, it has you have to do four activities within the BPI curriculum of your level. Okay, so make sure that you do uh, do this, do those four activities to complete this patch. Also, there is a survey that we want you to fill out, so please do so in the, the description. So please um, look at that. 
Um, I would like to thank you for being here today again. Um, I will see you next time on the next one. Bye.